Hello guys, welcome to today's show. My name is Natchut and you're on GFL TV, the home of football. So if today is the first time we see our program, for here we will bring you the latest Arsenal news updates as they drop all over the world. So for now, we'll start with today's news. I'm a Gary Debbie don't do you turn. No see Baba the talk say Arsenal no fit make the top four. They cannot win the league, this and that. So you can't do you turn now. Call the talk say as soon as see Arsenal, I'll say Arsenal go make the top four he gets. But the only problem is say can Arsenal win the league? That'd be the question when they ask. Say so like if you check the table, like this is now 25 games. Now you remain. So do Arsenal have the firepower? What it takes? To make sure see they win this league as it be like this. So the big moment now for February and March now you go come. Then now we will test the resolve of Arsenal. You see, in the beginning they first give us challenge your first ten games. Then after the first ten games they will see where we did. We play the ten first, uh, the ten first games. We survive. No one say okay. We never play strong strong people. We don't play Manchester United. We don't play Tottenham Hotspur. We don't play Liverpool. We don't play Chelsea. They don't see how we perform. We lost only one. They come. They change mouth now. Now, now, see February and March, they won't give us again. They only change the goalposts. <laughs> because don't say any challenge they give us now. As now, they come up, they turn up like mad. They, they prepare, they play, they surpass all those challenges. They defeat those challenges. So now, what's about the top now? We say, okay, eh, as now go qualify for top four. Now, the question is whether they will win the league. I don't tell that before, see. In the minds of all these pundits, nobody they ask question whether Arsenal will qualify for the top four because you get one statistics we come as we talk say the teams we don't amass the kind of points we ask and don't amount in the 13 games they don't get like 34 points say all of them 99.9 percent .9 of them they end up winning the league you get the shot now only Newcastle now be the team maybe say now then amass this kind of number of points in their first 13 games at the end of the day they don't come win the league you get the rest i see the statistics man city if they get as this kind of amount of points in this kind of number of games they don't play they ended up winning the league they ended up winning the league so if as bad as it bad you can't finish at least below first and second because they believe say for you to get this firepower to build this kind of momentum you know what it means to play 13 games lose one and draw one that means Man City gone no fit do them now. Why they don't do that? Liverpool gone, they don't fit do them. So for us to do that kind of thing, they are seeing us winning the league or at least we will end for first and second event. So Gary never can drop one kind punchline at the end of the day. Gonna talk say the only thing that is constant with Arsenal is that Arsenal is synonymous for capitulating at the end of the season. That they always break down, that they always crumble at the end of the season. And until Arsenal finish this season without crumbling. Then in go in before in mind go change because as of now you go see the doubt as na pedigree because you know say when you come when the matter most now at the end of the season before you know that as now go capitulate they go drown they go crumble like different different adjectives now they qualify within the top but no yawa you get it's the first time in everything so people are used to as now crumbling you get after January March April due to the when season done the end so this season is going to be different we we'll shock all of them not just to watch. Now away from that, so today now the birthday of our senior man community member Oga Ayuba, a winner senior man. So now your birthday, so we say may God grant you all your hard desires. We wish you all the best things life has to offer. You get so we just say may God guide you, we pray for you. So all our community members, when I help us pray for Oga Ayuba, is one of us. He's trying very very hard, and so Oga Ayuba don't do many many things for us. He don't support our show in immense number of ways, numerous number of ways. So we say, Baba God. We bless our boss in Jesus' name and inshallah. Bye bye, enjoy your day. Game out. Now, away from that, so I thought I don't projected to pick a strong 11 for the match you don't play today. Don't forget, say we will play EFL Cup today against Brighton again. So, they don't talk to Ateta, I will pick a very, very strong lineup because for the media setting, you know, normally they do press conference ahead of every game. So, I think on the talk saying this cup now will they take them serious? Will they take EPL and the Europa League again? So, there will be a strong lineup that will play this game. Go after this one and the Wolves game, we're having a very, very long break, almost one month, like three weeks and for the World Cup, it will take place. So we're going to choose a strong lineup and thank God everybody for us and only involved. This is everybody has played one way or the other, contributed to the success of the team he gets. So we'll just see the kind of way that I will drop out later. Also, I I don't become Arsenal's manager with the most wins in 150 games. So the statistics is out there. So I in 150 games, is more successful than Arsene Wenger, who is the most decorated Arsenal manager of all time, and also more successful than Graham he gets. So now, we're going to just for the statistics in 150 games. 
Ateta win 87 and he can draw 23, can get 40 losses to get. You won more than as a winger. So the player thought this goes to show that the guy is on the right path for Arsenal. Say if he do achieve more than waiting as a winger achieve for in time for Arsenal to get well. Let's see how it goes. I just wish Ateta best of luck because as I did, Ateta don't over suffer for this Arsenal. He needs to win something. As in, he needs to be celebrated. Now my prayer for him that. Away from that, so Sky Sports Nick Wright, Nick Wright, one of the writers for Sky Sports. So, Babakoli talks to Ben White. He writes a marvelous piece about Ben White, where I read. So, you can see Ben White is supposed to go to World Cup for England. He merits a place in the World Cup. So, when you don't check Ben White pedigree as he moved from a centre back to an official right back player, and for that right back, when you don't play, he don't meet a lot of tough, tough wingers. The first person we meet then be Zaha. And he treated Zaha when Zaha was limited to no shot on goal, nothing, nothing. He was anonymous in the match. Nobody Zaha in the for in time. You don't meet many, many wingers, but we're talking about some of the big names in the football industry. You don't meet Messi Mount, you don't meet Pulisic, you don't meet Albamian, you don't meet Son of Tottenham Hotspur. Son was relegated to no shot on goal the day way Arsenal played Tottenham Hotspur. Like all these top top players with the guy don't meet, he nullified all their threats get. So for this reason, they're supposed to understand say Ben White is a complete player. So it is left for Gareth Southgate to use his tongue and count his teeth and make sure say he selects Ben White because you are looking at a player who is versatile, who can give you the centre-back vibe and can give you the right-back vibe. He's spacey, he got, as a, you know, they get caught one thing, you get the guy they play very, very well. So, at the end of the day, we'll go see what team got the South and the team will do. Our oh, Gary Neville himself, don't come outside, they believe say Ben White self should make the World Cup list for England because when you check out the England World Cup list, you see many, many players they injured. So, for that reason, and Ben White is with Arsenal in the first position, he's playing very, very well in the club football. So, there is no reason whatsoever not to select him again. Maybe the coach not just the bias making selector. That's what everybody is saying. I'm a real Ferdinand self, don't come outside, they talk say make Arsenal make sure they sign Wilfred Zaha. So that the Buffy corrects the mistake we they make with Pepe because initially, don't forget that Pepe now nah, Zaha has to be one side before uh, when a million starts. I do with that, so we can make the uh, the deal, make the goal sign Pepe because Pepe the hot that time they score about 20 something number of goals and Lily just win the league for French League One. So the Buffy say Pepe the hot more than Zaha after all they win the league, he was instrumental in winning the league for Lily. The can go do that mistake at that time. They don't see that mistake. Oh, now in hindsight, now the conflict talks say okay, it was a mistake you get, but Zaha said the vex. Zaha has 29, so many people talk to me they go sign Zaha, it's going to be very good. But Asna and Rio Ferdinand is one of them. If they sign Zaha, it's going to be a game changer. Myself, I subscribe to that line of thoughts. It's going to be a game changer. He can assist either Martinelli or Saka or even surpass them. Me, I don't I know they carry any player for head, dude. I know secret cows. Anybody if you give us the goal and give us the winning mentality, that is who I'm following. You get player go, player come, Barras remain. You get who would have believed that once upon a time Aubameyang was an almost legend in Asna? They tell you one day, one day, say Aubameyang will come out for Asna in the fashion when he come out, I will still succeed like this. You go believe. So nobody if you say if Simi Saka come out, we go die. Or if maybe Martinelli come out, we go die. Or maybe Saliba or Jesus come out, we go die. Now lie. We go still die. Henry, Almighty Henry, come out, leave us now, go back soon. I shall we die. We don't die. Eh, so that's what it will be. Keep it in mind always that there are no secret cows at Arsenal. Anybody can be replaced. Keep that in mind. Oh, now for the match that they go play today, Arsenal versus Brighton. The match they go broadcast them for UK, USA, and Canada. And the reason they say the broadcaster, they talk say big, big matches day. They, they prefer the. Uh, Nottingham Forest versus Tottenham match and the Man City versus Chelsea match. That one they go broadcast because they can't broadcast every match. You know, get priority like there are other games, other sporting events where they take place with the, with the bigger than or it be Arsenal versus Brighton. You no, know, this is a full squad. You no, know, that is their own mindset to get. So I never know how would they watch this match today. Without because if the match is not being displayed uh, in in UK, we have one condition. We have the one condition. We have show match one condition. All those online portals. So that when the match starts, we'll check whether we we'll see. But we don't see her. That's so my I just give an advance warning because I'm not saying it is official. People in the UK cannot watch it. Those at home cannot watch it on TV. Those in the USA cannot watch it on TV. Those in Canada cannot watch it on TV. So I don't know whether the Africa they, they get anywhere with the video watcher. So more just the watcher. On my own, a pile of self don't come outside the talk. Say January. 
January is going to be very very important for Arsenal again because Arsenal need to strengthen in general not just Arsenal so see many many teams are going to be strengthening people don't negotiate deals on the ground we don't yet say Arsenal and Chelsea don't agree a deal with Cristobal Kunku that they've signed him already from Leipzig that is coming in January so teams are planning to strengthen because after the World Cup the second stanza of the league is going to be mad get so we are seeing different different things will happen so my dear football lovers let's just hope for the best in January I know say my Daniel football club self that they plan to buy even Fabrizio Romano self don't come outside can't let us know say Arsenal they really really optimistic on Martinelli contract extension for those who don't know Fabrizio Romano he works with Sky Sports get the guy that they call transfer guru the guy they very very good with giving transfer news and the news confirmed they always be legit so Baba the talk say as the optimistic say Martinelli contract extension now in the coming days, get but yes, say don't sign pen to FIFA. And Martinelli said, don't talk in the past, say almost as I did like this, I won't sign this thing. Make Asta just give me the contract, give me pen, you get make I just write my name here. I know they waste time. The guy contract they good. The only thing I believe is the one change for the contract now is salary. Get. I think it's any like 30 or 40 thousand pounds per week or 27. I don't even know what it is very, very low. So with the way with the guy down the play, they won't reward them. You get so at least when they bring up to like maybe 150. Is still they okay? That's what I'm thinking. But every other thing on the deal is okay. Our Arsenal title challenge will depend on Gabriel Jesus and William Saliba. And the person they made this statement, I'm the real Ferdinand. But they talk say Arsenal should make sure people like Gabriel Jesus and Saliba are not burnt out. They should make sure see that they get enough rest and they know they get injured because once they get injury, that they will go test the resolve of Arsenal Can and Arsenal play the way they are playing without a Gabriel Jesus. And they played the way they are playing without a William Saliba. So now the question many people will ask when these kind of things happen, and who knows, it may happen. I know uh, Gabriel Jesus never played the entire match of the season for Man City. He's always relegated to maybe 25 matches per season in all competition when they like to get but for Arsenal, the guiding instrumental is likely going to play the whole EPL if he's fit to get but more no right will get injured because naturally he's not an injury prone player naturally Saliba is not an injury prone player so now I think that's my management skills that then will come into question can you keep these two guys fit that's going to be the number one question so oh just the watch nobody knows tomorrow let's keep going um, I'm even Fabrizio Romano said, don't come again, come talk to Saliba really, really they consider the Arsenal contract to the don't table for him. Because don't say Arsenal don't offer Saliba a contract extension, they don't give him the contract already. So he's keenly considering it, which means he's likely going to sign the contract. So we'll just keep our fingers crossed and keep watching. They don't offer Saliba contract, they don't offer a Saka contract to get. So I think Martinelli in the next coming days now, we'll just say don't sign. So let's keep watching how all this is they go because these three guys, don't forget to make a guy that's not signed in contract extension. Even say Fabrizio Romano can't talk say for this summer. Say there were two clubs we can't talk say that one buy. Gabriel Magalhães asked and said, no, he's an untouchable. One of them at Juventus, the other one, you know, just saying, you know, go name the club name because it's a big club, you no know, one puts their name out there. But Juventus, we want to use the guy and replace Matthias Delete. We don't go join Bayern Munich again. So that they will use this guy to partner maybe Bonucci because you say Kelly don't retire or he don't come on go MLS. I don't know, but you know the Juve again. So, well, all this one are water under the bridge. You don't say Gabriel Magalhães is an integral member of our team. At the same time, Fabrizio Romano can't talk say Arsenal still they follow Michalo Mudriak for Shakhtar Donetsk and they don't get positive talks with the guy. The guy is keenly interested in joining Arsenal. Say the stumbling block that the fee which Shakhtar Donetsk don't place on the guy. Forget all those on where Shakhtar Donetsk director they don't say 100 million euros this one that one. Say uh, Shakhtar Donetsk they request for 60 to 65 million euros. That's what they are requesting from Arsenal. It is far far above. Arsenal's budget. So Arsenal, they're that kind of 45 50 million pounds. Again, that's what they have in their budget. So they never know whether there will be a compromise. But the guy they tell us categorically, see, Arsenal, they really, really interested in Michal Mudra. The players also keenly interested in moving to Arsenal because in the media setting, they don't ask him before when talk say, if Arsenal comes from me, I can't say no. It is in the public domain. No business, I mean, they form this one. It is a fact. You get So now, whether Arsenal and Shakhtar Donetsk will come, come to an agreement on the fee that it will take to get this guy. That's all we don't know. So let's keep watching. Um, I said not too long ago, I tell when I talk say Liverpool, the one sell them, FSG, you get they don't the Fenway Sports Group. They don't talk say Liverpool is up for sale, they need to sell it. Now, Dubai investors, Arab money, they don't come the day interested, they are considering buying the Liverpool so that they propose 4.3 billion. This is about five billion dollars get 4.3 billion pounds and they propose and say they won't buy Liverpool that's what I was saying yesterday even when we do the review show with me and Baba Sato I was saying this thing that Liverpool could be the new Man City 
they could be the new Newcastle. We get huge money people with the back them you get. They could be the new Chelsea because Chelsea self get huge money with the back them you get. So next season moving forward, we will see people will buy without as no restriction, as in unlimited funds you get. You could find it difficult for these top four race and the winning of the title to get because we now have our own hard work and sweat. Newcastle now have money carried and they wear them, they no be hard work or anything. We wish hard work. If they say not be the new owner, where then they they will fight relegation battle now. That goes to show you that money can change the direction of any club you get as long as there's big money it will happen when uh, Abramovich take over Chelsea where then did Chelsea stayed like 50 years before without winning any title Mourinho just come back 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 money buy 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 a drug back this one now before you know they don't win title so our own self and also we don't get that kind of money we then get we let our owners also be pumping little little money even if not 200 million every season it gets we just the pump and with the strength in the buy men men players because this league it could be harder in the future as they go like this it be hard they go I'm a repal or say, maybe one of Asna legend. Don't come and say, I call it toxic. I'm gonna say, Asna need Yuri Tillemans and another striker for this Asna setup. Say, first of all, this Yuri Tillemans, the guy is a, a, a goal scoring midfielder that can come and replace anybody in the midfield. He can play very well. If you want him to do box to box, he will give you that. If you want him to do central attacking midfielder role, he will give you that. Just that he's not a 100% defensive midfielder. Sure, he no not defensive at all. He like attacking, he like to go forward and score. He like to do what he can do this season. Even though you can still consider Shaka as a box to box, you can still give it that defensive midfield that vibe you get. Apart from that, but back on the talk said Gibraltar Jesus, that the only out and out striker who will get really give us some kind of grit moving forward. He's aggressive, but the team is saying he lacks goals. We need another striker that will come and fire us to the league title. Somebody that will come in and score goals and hit the ground running. Now waiting Baba they talk about, which I think about in line of thoughts because I am tempted to agree with him that in case I cannot take us there. That's what he's saying. We need somebody else that will come in. Hit the ground running and score. How many times don't bring in Keta as a Benjamin member for the second half of every game when he score? So look at all these things. How many times when he starts he score? How many goals has he scored? You get. We need impact sub. We need people that will come in. If the resources don't play, maybe system means to put him in. Boom, go. So these are the things we are talking about. My dear football lovers, don't forget to get our membership, our supporters club membership. When you join our supporters club to support our show, it costs 450 naira per month to get. So we don't get like 13 members. I think tomorrow I will, I will list out all the names of the people who don't join the. The, the supporters club uh, membership and give them accolades because they then be the real MVP that one of people supporting our show financially they help us to move forward you get so we are calling on more people at least we want our first 50 members that's our first goal Maybe people join it costs 450 naira per month and as you support us we got to replenish your pockets in Jesus name and inshallah amen so if you don't watch yesterday you should check the top left corner of your screen you will see the thumbnail click up so that you get all us now updates as they drop all over the world so it's a tip signing out Enjoy the rest of your day and get out.